Are we witnessing the death of all coding boot camps? This is a must watch video if you're somebody wanting to become a software engineer and you're considering a coding boot camp. Now, who am I? I'm the CEO of DevSlopes. We're one of the largest vocational schools with thousands of students learning how to make career transitions. Our students are typically from low income communities or have completely irrelevant previous to careers to coding. So if that's you, this video is gonna be perfect. Now I'm gonna transition over here and let's talk about it. This is a post I found on Reddit from Coding Knight, uh, something along those lines. It's about four months ago. He said, again, are we witnessing the death of coding boot camps? And he was talking about there's a conversation on here about how a large chunk of it is not worth it. Um, there's no roles for junior devs and that essentially things are just not looking good. Let's talk about the reason why. I believe the reason we are seeing a lot of death in the coding world for boot camps is because there's been a separation from accountability and expectations. And what I mean by that, anybody who's interested in going to a coding boot camp, they're typically doing it for the reason that I was guaranteed an 80% success rate, uh, a 90% placement rate, anything along those lines. What's funny is this came out in about 2014 when there was a massive demand for software engineers. And most importantly, companies were willing to hire people with absolutely no experience. And they had a lot of saved up investment money where they could afford just to blow money to try to grow their companies. That's no longer the case, right? So they made this in 2014 where people were just hiring negligently for lack of other words. That's just no longer the case. Now, I'm gonna be transparent. One of the reasons why coding boot camps are starting to die is not only just the fact that they're making these promises about placement rates, but at the end of the day, everybody learns at a different rate. Expecting somebody to learn full stack web development in three and a half months is completely unrealistic, let alone 15 weeks. Um, everybody learns at a different rate. What we have seen, and this may not be what you want to hear. It takes about a year and a half to two years for anybody to make that career transition. Now, this includes most people who have jobs, right? If you're somebody that doesn't have a job, you could probably make it within that eight to 16 month mark instead. But for most people, it's going to take a lot longer. The second reason why is that boot camps have kind of an old style and model of showing you how to get the job. See, what you need to understand Coding boot camps are focused on the skills you learn, which is great, but at the end of the day, the person who's a better communicator has a higher likelihood of getting the job than the person who has better tech skills. That's a fact. It's unfortunate, but it is a fact. The best person typically isn't the person who gets the job. The best communicator and the best salesperson typically gets that job. So these are the reasons why boot camps are dying. They're, so, they're focused so intensely on getting you trained, right, and focusing so much on your technical skills that you have two big gaps. Number one, your soft skills, your communication, your sell skills are not up to par. And number two, your ability to be focused on building small business solutions is typically not there. So you learn how to use a hammer, right? You learn how to build a whole bunch of cool stuff, but you don't necessarily learn how to build products, which is what's most important. So a lot of boot camps are producing software engineers, but they're not software engineers who can kind of self start. They're not really resourceful. They just happen to know how to use a hammer, a, a nail gun, um, a saw, they know how to use all the tools, but they don't necessarily know how to put those together to build something like a carpenter. You need to be a carpenter if you want to go out and actually get a job. So if we're witnessing the death of coding boot camps from my lens, we absolutely are. We're seeing a correction, right? And the correction is, hey, this is no longer about job guarantees off your cohort data from January of 2020, right? That's no longer the case. People are getting smarter and they're realizing, hey, they're saying I have an 80% chance of success. I, I don't know what that means. That doesn't seem realistic because guess what? If you were to invest in anything that said you have an 80% chance of having a guaranteed return on your investment, right? If we applied that, that thought process, that logic to anything else, that would mean that these educations would not ch charge 10 to $25,000 if you had an 80% chance of success in getting a job paying 75 to $90,000, we would be charging well over 75 to several hundred thousand dollars because it's just a black and white ROI. Like, hey, you're gonna pay a 75K, 
but you're going to get a job paying 75000 within the next six months. That's just not the case. Everybody knows that. The consumer market is getting incredibly smart. We know it's nonsense. So don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. If you're looking at joining a coding bootcamp, you need to be looking for a couple things. Number one, are they going to be teaching a full stack web application program? Because that has the largest barrier of entry for somebody who's brand new. Number two, is there curriculum built around this concept that you could earn income and experience while you're learning? You need to be able to guarantee that you have paid experience while you're going through the program and you're gaining the soft skills you need to bridge the professional gap because every job wants to hire somebody who has experience, but you need a job to get the experience. So you have to be able to fight off that, that problem. And thirdly, you need to have career coaching that prioritizes your ability to work around not just having to rely on submitting applications because that's no longer the game plan that helps you win. We'll talk more about that later, but first, I just really wanted to hit home on Coding Nights video on Reddit or post on Reddit on are we witnessing the coding boot, uh, the death of coding boot camps? And I think it's fair to say, yes, we are. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are somebody looking to make a career transition. This is the best YouTube channel for you to figure out how to build that new career, how to learn how to play the ethical man manipulation games behind the scenes to understand how to communicate with employers, how to help yourself stand out, how to better communicate with teammates. And don't forget the Mastery and Obsession podcast. That is a must listen to for anybody looking to make a career transition. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you on the next uh, video.